What's up YouTube? Brian from AB Genetics. Welcome back to the channel. Got a real quick one here, but I promised you guys I'd give you an update. So my last clutch, everybody shout out. Now this officially is the last clutch of 2022. Now I was, they actually, they started pipping. I was able to, to cut the clutch um, just after, I think it was just after Christmas. So I got actually snuck in just before New Year. So uh, it's another amazing banger of a clutch. And um, without further ado, guys, this is the Cypress Leopard uh, Het Clown 66% Het Hypo to my homegrown blade clown um, and I, I do think she's actually possible hep hide but I haven't proved anything out with her yet uh, so I haven't proven her out hep hide um, I don't I don't even know for sure but it's just a, it's a hunch of mine uh, I did get uh, her father from Justin Kabilka and something weird going on there and we threw back ideas and uh, a lot of the fathers hatchlings that are coming from him are showing huge signs of, of being hit for pied lots of ringers lots of pied tracks uh, i haven't proven anything out yet just a theory but it's it's definitely in the background so we'll see if it plays out but either way without further ado guys let's get to it this is the clutch update of the leopard cypress het clown possible head hypo to the blade clown let's get on with it talk to you guys soon Okay guys, so quick recap, uh, homegrown blade clown, I'm, I'm thinking possibly have pied, but we'll see, I haven't proven anything out, as I said, uh, this was the final clutch of 22, blade clown to a leopard cypress head clown, 66% uh, head for hypo, I have sexed them, but I am going to double check everything. We are going to start from the um, the least powerful to the most powerful. So this right here, pretty little blade clown, straight blade clown, nice colors. I I, I do think blades underrated. Uh, it's one of those things, kind of like a pastel, where it's it's definitely got its uh, combinations that it works really well in. Um, male okay so male blade clown here we go this is actually the first time I've actually hatched one of these so this is a standard straight cypress 100% head for clown gorgeous beautiful blushing lots of different uh, variations coming out of the um, the straight cypress gene this one is a little different than what I've seen before. There's a little extra blushing, but it's gorgeous. I, I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite, one of my favorite jeans, um, no question. Female. Look at that amazing flaming. Incredible flaming up the sides. Absolutely gorgeous beautiful animal beautiful coloring I love cypress you know up the side of the alien head to get that white coming up the side and then in the middle of the blacks you get that blushing look at that white blushing coming up just stunning I love cypress moving our way up now these two are going to be holdbacks yeah. this is um, an amazing example of course not the L. everybody always says that about their own animals right but uh, I love leopard clowns this is a straight leopard clown possible head hypo all these are possible head hypos uh, depending on how far you want to go down I mean realistically these are 33 uh, percent you know at that point you tend to basically not really put any uh, value to it but let's face it 33 percent I mean we're talking about one out of every three babies are going to prove out head hypo so you know, I, I definitely am going to um, take that into consideration on my end. Now, one thing about leopard clowns, they are a little dark. I definitely noticed that, but a gorgeous pattern. Um, you know, and, and uh, with me blending um, all my desert ghosts into my clowns one day, this will 
come into play uh, with eventually getting all this wrapped up into Desert Ghost. So it's definitely in the plans. So it's a male. Okay, so male leopard clown. Let's see if we can get a good look of them there. Male leopard clown. Check that out. Gorgeous. Gorgeous animal. And here, here is the animal I was hoping for. And here is the animal I was hoping for. Now, if you're watching my videos, you know that I've been hoping for a Cypress Clown Combo male for a while. And I finally got one, oddly enough. You know, the funny thing is, every time you want females, you get males. Every time you want a powerhouse male to keep for your own breeding projects in the future, you don't get it, you get the females. But the best part is you, you're not going to complain because uh, I hit a Cypress Batman uh, possible head hypo in my last clutch. I wanted the male, I didn't get it, but probably for the better because I have a lot of spot nose in my collection. So to have a male Batman as a breeder, it limits everything I can put into because I have so much spot nose. So here we go. Cypress, leopard, clown, possible head hypo. I think this actually plays into my collection a little better than having the male Cypress Batman. Really happy, really happy and gorgeous, gorgeous animal. I love Cypress in Leopard and, and Spot Nose and Clown and everything, but I, I love Cypress in Leopard Clown because the way it blushes out the leopard spots with an orange, like a burnt orange, it's, it's just unbelievable. It's so beautiful. Um, Cypress Clowns are some of my favorite combinations. Look at that orange head. Definitely uh, in my top favorite clown combinations. They're, they're amazing. Um, so many things you can go with this. Uh, blackhead, um, you know, Blackhead and um, Desert Ghost. And, uh, you, you know, there's just so many amazing areas. And once you get Desert Ghost Clown with Cypress combinations, it's just incredible. Like, there's just so much to do. Uh, how would you like to see a nice dose of Super OD on Cypress Leopard Clowns or Cypress Batmans? Um, and, you know, of course, don't forget, we have the possible head hypo. So, obviously, my goal is, uh, just like my friend over there, Paul Milner at Urban Constrictors, my goal is, obviously, to end up getting into the hypo clown, the Cypress Batmans and the Cypress Hypo Clowns uh, and Desert Ghosts. So... How would that be for an end goal? Can you imagine how much better could you get in an animal than, let's say, a Cypress Batman Hypo Desert Ghost? Like, how could you really get that better? I mean, of course, you have your, your own personal thoughts. Maybe drop Super OD on top of that. Super OD Cypress Desert Ghost Batman <laughs> a Hypo. There's too many to even think. Super OD. Cypress, Desert Ghost, Hypo, Batman. Uh, you know, like that. That is, I don't know how you can get better than that. That might be the end game right there, for me, anyways. But what a gorgeous animal! So I'm super happy about this. This is um, this along with um, the Cypress Batman female. You know, this is the pinnacle of, of my year, strictly because I don't produce enough powerhouse recessive combination males to really hold back and think about for the future. It's, it's, I tend to always look at the females and, and sell off everything else and not even all the females. I, I don't do that. I don't keep all my females. I keep just strategic females and I, I let everything else go, which I, which I definitely, I stand by that. But, um, I don't produce enough powerhouse males. For some reason, all the males I produce, they just are not the stacked up recessive combos. 
it just works out that way. So I'm very happy to have produced this, and this will 100% stay with me. Um, this boy's going to do some some major business in the future, and uh, ne hopefully next year, you know, 2024. Uh, this guy will be put putting in some work, and uh, I got a lot of super high-end, powerful Desert Ghost females waiting for him. And I, I'm not sure they'll be ready this year, so it'll, it'll actually time out just right. Yeah, so Cypress, Leopard, Clown, Possible Head Hypo. And, uh, you know, I know I have a female that's going to be ready to go later this year. And I got her from Joris Vanderhilst, uh, amazing quality animal. She is a Black Pewter Desert Ghost Head Hypo. So, you know, we are looking at um, possible cypress black pastel pastel leopard um hypos double head desert ghost clowns that's exciting that's super exciting anyways have another good look this boy is stacked love him right everybody how's that how's that for a sick last clutch for 2022 you know, um, I've been hot head hunting for that male powerhouse combo for a little while, uh, and I, I finally nailed it in the last clutch of the year. I got exactly what I was hoping for. And like I said, I, I think it actually, I was hoping for that Cypress Batman possible. I had hypo that I, that I ended up landing there. Um, I think it was late November, roughly. Uh, I was really hoping that was gonna turn out to be a male. It was a female. Uh, I know, you, you, I actually caught it on camera, me hoping for a male, and. Oddly enough, getting disappointed that it turned out to be a female. So, I mean, you can't complain still, but um, I was hoping for it to be male. But I think it actually worked out best to have the male not have spot nose in it. I have so much spot nose, I love spot nose, but I have so much of it in my collection that to turn around and put a male with spot nose to everything just didn't make sense strategically, right? So I think this worked out for the better. Uh, this boy can basically go to pretty much every female I have. Um, not that I'm going to do that, but um, get, get those animals and don't don't fall behind. Keep going. So anyways, that, that's what I'm doing. And I'm learning from the best, you know. So um, Brian from AB Genetics, thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for the interest in the collection. Thanks for the interest in the babies, amazing babies I just hatched. Um, check out my morph market. Lots of animals up there, more going up. Uh, so stop in at my morph market, give me a follow on there so at least you can keep up to date with new hatchings I'm putting up, new breeder females, I've been releasing breeder, breeder females all year. Um, don't forget, hit subscribe, like, share this to your friends, and uh, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, I'm across the board, and Instagram typically is where I, I consistently upload the most for pictures and day-to-day uh, -day operations here at AB Genetics. Um, and Stay tuned to YouTube because I always have exciting stuff coming up and I have about three females that should be laying in the next two weeks to a month. And if you like what I'm doing and you like the combinations I'm doing and the direction that we're going here at AB Genetics, feel free to leave a comment down below. I always welcome people's comments and if you're working with the same genes and the same stacks and you're going after the same animals, by all means comment down below. I always, uh, I always like hearing from people. And uh, yeah, so again, Brian from AB Genetics. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video, and, uh, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Talk to you soon.